Hello and welcome to my advanced rust binds video. In my last video I went over a lot of the basic binds that people use such as auto attack and sprint so I'm not going to go over that again. If you want to know how to do that go check out my first video. Now one of the things that were requested from my last video is how to enable flashlight during uh, aiming down sights. Now to do that, just hit F1 to go into console and use this command, bind mouse 1 plus attack 2 semicolon flight plus light toggle. And now every time you aim down sights, your flashlight will go on. Now, if you don't like this and you want it to go back to how it was, go back to console and just bind mouse one to plus attack two. In my last video, I talked about using fake zoom using two binds by changing your field of view. Well, there's a better way now. You can use only one key and use it as a toggle. And the way you do that is as follows. So what you want to do is bind the key. In my case, I'm using T. So bind T, and then you use the character, character called tilde, I believe. It's right before the one usually on your keyboard. Graphics.fov60, semicolon graphics.fov90. And once that's bound, if you press the key, it will do the fake zoom. If you want to change the scale of your weapon, there is a toggle for that, or you can just use the actual command. Uh, so this is what it does. I'll just show you before I show you. The command. So as you can see, it makes the gun smaller or bigger, depending if it's activated or not. And I'm using the forward slash as the bind. So bind slash tilde graphics dot vm under slash fov under slash scale true and then semicolon graphics dot vm under slash fov under slash scale false so it's a point of personal preference you can just actually set it to what you want instead of using a toggle In that case, you can just type out the command, and this is false, and this is true. If you want to switch which side of the screen your weapon appears, you can use the following line. I'm not going to read it, but I bound it to I. So now when I press I, this happens. I guess this could be useful if you're trying to peek a corner. But personally, I wouldn't use it. So the following bind could be considered a glitch or a cheat, I guess, but it's not really. It just works with the physics of the game. One of the things is if you limit your FPS inside the game, a lot of weird things start to, start to happen, such as uh, you have a slow time falling down, or you could uh, freeze in midair depending how low the FPS is. So I personally do not recommend people to use this, but I am putting it out there because in case you're wondering how people are doing this sometimes, or just so you know, So I'm binding Y to limit my FPS to 10, and then if I press it again, I'll toggle it back to my original one, which is 145. Yours might be different. And this is what happened. As you can see, I fell much, much slower, and this actually happens in game as well it's due to the physics of unity 
If you limit it to one, you pretty much freeze in the air. Yes, my game is still running. That's how slow I'm falling. Sometimes you'll take fall damage because of the way engine tries to prevent this. So yeah, I don't use this. You can get banned on some servers for using this. But I am showing you in case you're wondering if you ever see people jump up and freeze in air. They're basically limiting their FPS. You can just set it in console as well. You don't need to do a key bind or anything, but it's much easier. So if you ever want to remove a bind, also known as unbinding, you can go back into console and then type in bind space, whatever the key is, space, and then quotation marks, space, quotation marks. So in this example, I'll be unbinding the FPS limit, for example, that I said in the previous clip. So now when I press Y, nothing will happen. So here's a way you can craft a bandage by pressing a single key. So I'm going to use this bind, and I'm also going to send a message to my personal chat saying that I'm crafting a bandage. And it's bound to J for me, but you can change the key. So now when I press J, this is what happens. And you can pretty much use this to craft anything. Here's an example of a medical syringe. I'm going to bind it to K. And it's going to put it in my inventory this time. You can also use this to wood stack. For example, you can craft 10 TCs at a time. So you would change this from 1 to 10 and this is the item ID you can pretty much craft anything if you look up the ID number so I'm on a build server it's going to do it instantly but obviously it's going to take some time on a regular server there you go thank you for watching and if you enjoy this type of content please sub and like it helps the channel if you're interested in further ideas or keybinds and you don't mind reading, you should check out the wiki following this link. I'll link it below as well. And uh, it pretty much covers all the things I've discussed and even more, including stuff like binding multiple keys to toggle stuff. I didn't want to go over that myself, but you can look it up here. It's kind of interesting. And then furthermore, if you want to get the item IDs, there's a website for that here as well. You can just copy the ID number for crafting and use it in your bios. I'll link it below as well. Thank you.